issues concerning minorities. First of all, I say black. I say black because most black people prefer black. I don't say people of color because it's dishonest. It means precisely the same thing as colored people, which is an insult. So if you're not willing to say colored people, you shouldn't be willing to say people of color. And besides, to me, the whole idea of color seems a bit specious, really. I mean, what should we call white people? People of no color? <laughs> isn't, isn't pink a color? And in fact, white people are not really white at all. They're different shades of pink and olive and beige. In other words, they're colored. <laughs> And, and black people are rarely black. I see mostly various shades of brown and tan, and in fact, some light-skinned uh, black people are darker than the darkest white people. I'm sorry, lighter than the darkest white people. Look how dark the people in India are. They're dark brown, but they're considered white. May I see the color chart, please? <laughs> People of color is an awkward phrase that obscures meaning rather than enhancing it. What shall we call fat people? People of size? <laughs> I also don't say African Americans. I find it cumbersome and confusing. Which part of Africa are we talking about? Egypt? Egypt is in Africa, but Egyptians aren't black. They're like the people in India. They're dark brown white people, but they're Africans. So why wouldn't an Egyptian citizen who becomes a, uh, I'm sorry, an Egyptian who becomes a U.S. citizen be called an African American? The same would apply to South Africa. Suppose a white racist from South Africa becomes an American citizen. Couldn't he call himself an African American? <laughs> if for no other reason than just to bother black people. And, and what about a black person born in South Africa who becomes an American citizen? Is he an African-American or is he a South African-American? Or is he simply a South African-American, African-American? <laughs> you know, it's just so much more tedious liberal labeling. Liberals should be taught that labels divide people, and I think we could probably do with fewer labels, not more. Now.